this is a dad. So we're doing something a, dif a bit different today in terms of the unboxing. So until now, if you've seen my unboxing videos, I really just, um, what do you call this, put out the items from the box and I don't show you the actual um, unboxing, the ripping out of the package and everything. But this time I thought I'd do it a little bit differently um, since this package is actually a consolidation of um, three different um, orders that I did um, from different merchants in Japan. So I just thought I'd show you how um, I purchased my items in Japan. So I use this forwarder called Buy and Ship and um, this particular package should have um, my Rainbow Tour Goods, um, a plushie which I will explain later and a couple of magazines. So yeah, let's get started! packages already diary so one reason why it seems like haphazardly sealed is that um buy and ship reserves the right for um for them to like repackage your items as um you see fit and although buy and ship is really one of if not the um cheapest option for forwarding services um considering the scope of service that they have is that um, they won't be liable for like, any damages caused by um, the repacking of goods so um, well it depends on you if you want your shipments consolidated they normally just consolidate shipments and repack them if there's more than one shipment in an order so if you just ship, or rather, if you just would want to forward your shipment as is, they normally don't have to um, reopen it and you won't have difficulties such as I, what I'm having right now. But, well, you know, if it saves costs and you're not too particular, I guess consolidation is the way to go. So let me just continue. <laughs> large um, but yeah I'll tinker with this a little later and then you have the this is the mask um, sheet wait let me just take that out so the, for this particular item I actually have two here's the other one let me just find the other one so here's the other one so there's two of them my sister um wanted to buy it because we wanted a container for a mask and I was like well if it doesn't work for you let's just both lament at the cost so here's it's quite cute oh it's so cute okay <laughs> cute okay so it's basically um them in mask and then when you flip it like you know you can I wonder oh that's so cute though like it's their faces with mask and then you can remove it them without masks and then you can put another mask here it's quite cute i love the case so cute okay so that's just for display purposes this one is oh this is the acrylics okay so i was actually on the fence whether to buy an acrylic set but my sister said like she said something about this one being actually bang for a buck so my only problem now would be where to display them but yeah, so I'll assemble this later. And then I also bought the photo set of Shige, of course. And then the group photo set, right here. Should have another one. And then 
Um, a friend asked me to buy the bag, which is this one. So, Gab, if you're watching, here's your bag. So big! Let's see. It's quite big. I'm not sure if you're seeing it. Like, that's quite big. Okay. I will have to figure out how to ship this to my friend, but yeah. Okay. Let's put that aside first. And then I have another photo set for a friend. And then... Oops, okay, it's my invoice. And then I ordered the pamphlet as well. Um, with how things seem, I might actually have like a review of the um good just in another video. I didn't think I'd have an interesting time like assembling, disassembling everything and looking at the pamphlet. So, so this is this is just an unboxing. Yeah. So um, another item that I ordered is actually the original Higuma character. Now, um, for Shige fans out there, if you watched um, the the NHK mini drama Higuma, the drama is actually based on a um, four comic, four panel comic about it's about a bear who lives. Well, I don't know it's quite surreal because it it's set in a world where bears. And humans live side by side, and bears like have actual jobs, and they help humans with their jobs. So Higuma is this Higuma. Um, the characters in his name is actually Sad Bear. That's why um, I forget the official English title for the drama. But anyway, um, when I saw the goods for Higuma, when it the 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 drama was about to air, I thought of buying them, but for some reason I just forgot. And then, well, I just decided, like, hey, okay, um, a friend, actually, from Twitter, um, got one of the items, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get one for myself also. So, here we are. But, Higuma. So here's Higuma with his um salmon. Salmon is his favorite fish. So <laughs> um funny enough, the shipping, the local shipping, the J Japan shipping for this item is like 50 it costs half the price of this, which is expensive. So um but I really wanted just this item. It's so cute. It's so cute. Like, I I cannot afford the DVD for Higuma. Or rather, it's a, the price is too steep for my liking. So I settling for this plushie instead. <laughs> Higuma. <laughs> okay. So I set that aside first. And then the last two items I bought um are actually magazines. So from Amazon. So let me just. So, um, normally, well, I mean, I guess when I became a fan of Johnny's West, um, the, they call this, it became a habit for me to buy magazines, and the interviews have been, um, interesting as well. So, um, normally, uh, I just wait for, you know, generous people to share their copies. But, well, I guess I'm like, well, it helps me learn Japanese. Reading um, some of um, the Japanese that I've picked up over the years were from either watching shows or reading magazines. So, I think like this is just another way for me to improve on the language. So, I like this packaging. Um, the last like couple of magazines I got from Amazon, I was not a fan of the packaging because it bent my magazine, but this is cardboard. This is good cardboard. Okay. So this is Ogi, but it's still bent. Okay, it's alright. So I guess one thing about like shipping. This Ogi. Um, I bought this Ogi because of Shige. So hold on. Let me just oh hi Suzu. Wait, let me so well I guess 
considering how many pages Shige has in here, it's quite an expensive thing to buy if you're just looking for the Shige pages. But well, I guess if you're a fan like me, it's like, I don't care. <laughs> I want my Shige. So like, you just look for that. Oh, and you have like, wow, you have like three of these like Knievel scrubbing mud wash. So I guess like, oh, okay, if you're gonna be that way. I can't find Shige. Hold on. Shige yo kadaiki. Toko ni iru. See, this is the thing with like fashion magazines. A lot of it is in the fashion. Like, well, duh, that's the purpose of the magazine. But like, if you're looking for a particular piece, it's like, you might kind of have to scroll a bit. Like, oh, there you go. So, um, in case you're not aware, Junta has like a regular um, column on Koki, so this is his page. But what I'm really looking for is this. Shige <laughs> Oka Daiki. So there. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought it. I saw the photos and then like, I was like, 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 how, how even, how even can you, how, like, how? God, like, oh, it looks so good. Like, see, I'm I'm buying a magazine just for these photos. Like, I'm, and I keep on saying I'll translate this interview, blah blah blah, but they never get around to doing it. So you know, just enjoy the pictures, I guess. <laughs> Well, I mean, so here's the interview. So, um, I think that all of the members have like a series, um, will have a solo series in OV. So I think the next issue will be Kami Chance, I'm not sure. But yeah. So yeah, um, interesting pictures. I love the pictures. So another inter another magazine that I bought was for um it's Shugan Asahi. I bought this because it seemed like the interview, well, apart from the fact that they're the ones on the cover, it seemed like the interview is quite an interesting one, so here. I might actually translate this first, depending on the content. Um, so cute! I like the styling. Well, I, I don't know why I say I like the styling, I like the styling, but like, go judge my references, I don't know much about styling. But they look quite refreshing in this one. So, um, the thing with Shukan, a lot of like shu whenever you say like Shukan, it's actually tabloids. <laughs> but, um, it doesn't always mean that, um, all of the content's like tabloid -y. But anyway, here's their interview. So, what's interesting about this is like, it's, I think it's my first magazine in newsprint. I don't. All of the magazines that I have are glossy, so it's my first time getting a magazine that's used print. So, there. Okay. So, yeah, it's pretty short. It's just that one page here. I have to check that later, but yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to check the reading style for this one. It seems a bit not to my. Or rather, not quite used to it. But anyway, so there it is. That's it for my unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it somehow. Since the rainbow goods will pro likely take some time to like digest and whatnot. So except for the bag, I'll show the other more of the other goods next time. So until then, I'll see you. Bye bye.